today we are building a 4x4 by, by half inch thick uh, welding table. Uh, this is actually called a fixture table uh, because it has a whole grid of 5 8 holes drilled on 2 inch centers. Uh, that way you can go ahead and put in bracing and blocking and clamps and all that kind of stuff and everything is perfectly square and parallel and everything else. So uh, these tables here, uh, four by four finished out, uh, they run $25 to $3,500 finished out. Uh, you can buy a kit, those things still run $1,500 to $1,800, you still have to weld it out yourself. Uh, what I have here is, like I said, a four by four half inch plate. Uh, drilled out. Uh, I've also built the grid underneath for support and helping straighten it out out of four inch quarter inch flat plate and then two inch tubings for the legs and then I got some four inch casters down here. Uh, all in I think I'm about $600 total uh, into the build and probably about six hours of welding time uh, labor and everything to put it together. So overall uh, not a bad price for something that costs a whole lot of money. Uh, my local uh, metal company actually has a CNC plasma cutter, which we use. A um, couple of things that I learned. Uh, the holes are pretty much, you know, the size I need them to be. Uh, 5 eighths is 0. .625. I had these, drilled these out at 0. .635, so it's a little bit bigger. Uh, the plasma cutter doesn't quite get all of them perfectly round. So I'm going to have to go and take a little tool and kind of clean them up a little bit. Uh, but overall, most of them are pretty good and you just have to clean out the little bit of the slag that's left over and it should work fine. Uh, one thing that you will note and you're going to see in the video is that this plate, after they cut it, was actually tacoed a little bit, about an eighth of an inch on each side. And so in the video, you're going to see how I go through and, and actually straighten this plate out while I welded it up. Now, something that you didn't see off screen was that I tried to flatten this thing by putting weight on it. Uh, I got it uh, shimmed up off the ground about a half inch. Uh, I parked my tractor on it. That didn't work. I parked my excursion on it. Uh, that did not work. Uh, at the end of the day, I called my neighbor up. He's got a 16,000 pound tractor. Uh, we took the plate over to his shop, got it up off the ground. Uh, we parked the front tire on it. It pushed it down, but not enough. Then we parked the back tire on it. Also, not enough. Uh, at the end of the day, we ended up putting this thing up on uh, two by four blocks where they're just barely on the ends. And I have a four by six by half inch wall tubing, piece about 26 inches long, stuck in the center here. And we straddled the tractor axle over it and we used the tractor as a weight to counterbalance and then put the hydraulic jack on there and push this thing down. Uh, we put about a one inch bow in it, probably about a dozen times, just down, up, down, trying to get it to where we could get it pretty flat. Eventually we got it close enough to where in the video you're going to see we're still a little off, but we go through the process of starting one end, working our way across, and getting it pretty flat. So uh, I'm sure you're going to have some comments about this, so please do feel free to make them below and subscribe to the channel. So I figured the easiest way to do this is to use this as the welding plate. So we'll put this in line exactly where we want the plate to sit. Then verify this is parallel, I mean not parallel, but uh, in uh, square with the table. And then we'll just set the plate right up against it and then weld from this side.
right, so I went ahead and decided to use two uh, straightening setups here um, with the, the two inch tubing. Unfortunately, I only have one piece here, so I'm gonna use my angle iron. I think it's gonna work just fine. But this way, I've created a, a flat patch that's kind of in between these two. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll weld this one up. Once that one's done, then we'll move it over here, flatten that, that should flatten everything between here and here, and then go ahead and weld it. And we'll just kind of leapfrog our way across. Um, I've got this first piece set up over here. Uh, this is actually a half inch shorter than the ends. So this is 47 and a half. That way it leaves enough room here for the quarter inch plate that's gonna go along the ends here. So just make sure you've got a quarter inch on each end and then you should be good. So one thing I noticed is that this end over here has got just a little bit of a dip. You see I messed up this one here. I didn't see it. It's pretty small, pretty mild. But anyway, so it kind of flattens out here. So it's just a little bit of a problem here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it. But anyway, to fix that, I went ahead and stuck another clamp on top of this to make sure that I bring it up from the bottom here. And then we flatten it out so that we're getting flat all the way across now. So we'll go ahead and we'll probably tack this side and then go to the other side and make sure it's sitting flat as well. All right, so this process of putting two bars across here to, to flatten this out uh, and then welding this, clamping it all down, this seems to be working pretty well. Um, I had, as I said at the very beginning, I had an eighth inch of a gap total. Uh, I think now before we start putting this on, it's down to about 16th, but it was mainly in the last little bit here, last four or five inches is where it was kind of dipping off. So this way here, by clamping this down and everything, it seems to have been brought it up and leveled it out pretty good. Uh, so for what I'm needing, I'm going to be pretty happy with this. So we'll go ahead and finish across. All right, so we got all the ribs put in, and it is pretty straight across here, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, but now when we put the level on here, going this direction, uh, there's just a little bit of a, a crown this direction right here. Not much of one, but very slight. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over the uh, sawhorse over enough to where we can put the 2-inch tubing uh, stack on the bottom here, and then we're going to flatten it this way the best we can. Anyway, we're gonna flatten it with putting the tubing on the bottom here, and then we'll be able to put the side piece on that should level it out. So I've got everything welded up here and it is pretty straight uh, for what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, I'm probably going to later time going to come back and put another row here and here, but unfortunately I don't have enough of that right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on moving forward and go ahead and start working on getting the legs on here and then casters and getting it flipped over. I can always come back and add these in later. Uh, I just don't have them now and I want to keep on moving. And now we're going to move on to put the legs on. Uh, for the legs, I'm using some two inch square tubing. Uh, these are cut at 33 inches uh, with the casters that are about five inches tall. That puts the tabletop at about 38 and a half uh, thereabouts. Uh, for me, 
I'm six foot tall. I prefer a little bit taller table so that, you know, the 36 inches, I feel like I'm having to bend over too much. I don't like that. So I make them a little taller for me. Obviously, you can make it any height you want. Um, the good thing about having this four inch flat bar on here is that we're going to be able to just put this in the corner, square it up both directions with the table top, and then weld this thing in all the way down on sides to the top of it and along here. And I think that's going to give us enough contact where we put, shouldn't have to add any other additional bracing, I don't think, um, to keep the legs from wiggling or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Once we get the casters on it, get it, upside, uh, get it right side up and test it, we'll see if we have to add any extra, but I don't think we're going to need to. So here's the final product. Uh, the table turned out really, really well. Uh, was not too much work from what I thought it was gonna be. Uh, the biggest issue is that this is a plasma cut and so all the holes gonna have to be a little bit cleaned out. They're not as clean as you would for a laser uh, or a drill, but you can see with the level here that we got it really, really flat. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe below.